We are headed out of town. I don't think we'll do dinner until we probably get to Three Lake, probably. Probably. Um, but I guess, I mean, he's only got his one seat back there because this crate takes up like the other half of the car. He's hanging in there. And we're only like 20 minutes into this drive. But hopefully, eventually, he'll realize, like, okay, this is, we're in it for the long haul. <laughs> and he needs to settle down. Um, it hasn't been bad. No. I just thought, like, you might be out. Yeah. Because, like, Sierra, when she's walking him, it's hot out. So, usually, when it's hot out, um, he'll get very tired during his walks. And she said that he laid down, like, three times. So, I think maybe in a half hour, he'll succumb to the car. <laughs> and then he'll relax. We have made it to Clear Lake. We are doing a pit stop at McDonald's on the drive-in. I apologize for the lighting. I don't know if this can make it any better. Vice did better than I expected. Wow. Like, not perfect, but like he actually did calm down and was not super annoying for most of the ride. He's getting a little anxious now that we're not Keep moving. Stopping, but yeah. um, I don't really know what we're doing today, if anything. Um, I know we kind of want to watch Bridgerton since season three came out. We have made it to the lake house. A uh, couple casualties. Megan dropped one of the pops on the way in, and Vegas grabbed one of the rat poisons that we have by the door. Uh, preemptively, before I could pick it up, I got it from him, so it's fine. A uh, rough start, but we need to get everything unpacked. Vegas needs to eat dinner. I can probably take him outside. Let's see if we should go to the bathroom. Where did he go? Uh, I was wondering what his reaction to the bear would be. He's very curious. But he's not barking or anything. And I'm like waiting for him to like look up and be like, whoa! Oh, Good morning, Clear Lake. Happy Saturday. Um, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a rough sleep last night. Vegas has not peed or pooped in like 12 hours. I don't know why, I have spent a ridiculous amount of time walking him <clears throat> so like the backyard here at the lake is like all sand. And I'm not sure if he like has an issue with like sand, doesn't know if he can pee or poop where it's sandy, but I've been walking him like down the street to a grassy area. I've done like four times in the past 12 hours, three times over like the course of the night. Nothing. So, he also threw up in his crate last night. Potentially that could be related to the rat poison. I don't know. It's time for a morning walk. So, this sweatshirt's courtesy of my grandma. And these pants are a Christmas present. I think my mom honestly got it from like TikTok shop or something. But, it's like 60 degrees. It's honestly like pretty nice out. So, I'm gonna put my AirPods in. And perhaps on our walk this morning, Vegas will find somewhere he can actually go to the bathroom. <laughs> Megan's finally up, it's like almost 8.30, and Vegas and I had a lovely walk. He still has not peed or pooped, but I'll stop keeping you guys updated on it because you guys don't care, it's just me being like, hello. Um, we're deciding what we want to do for breakfast. I think we might try Cabin Coffee Company. Have we ever <clears throat> tried anything that? I feel like yes, but I don't, like maybe once or twice. Anyway, so. We're looking at that. We might also look at scooters and see what has what we would rather eat or drink. And then we'll update you. It's windy <clears> out. It is windy. It's supposed to be warm. And maybe your walk was fine. It was windy. Quite windy. And I think we're going to try and take Vegas with us. Wherever we go. egg and bacon on it. It's pretty typical of what my Starbucks order is. And then I got a strawberry banana smoothie, which is actually pretty good. And I have to wait a little bit longer until I get my I got a frappe. I'm like falling apart. This is half of it. 
All right, Megan, what do we think? How's your frappe thing? Pretty good. Is that just chocolate? Mostly, there's like an undertone of should maybe try getting ready going out I think we're both feeling very gross I don't know if pictures are gonna be happening today if I do like I need to just like cover up and if like by that I mean like I'm having a hat on I'm probably not gonna be trying to do like a face photo but if the vibe is there I need to try and do like a hat low bun and that's really the best I can do yeah okay Sierra and Vegas are outside, so I'm going to bring the camera out. We have Survivor on. Um, at first, I was kind of worried the charger we brought for the camera wasn't working, but I just had to do a different outlet, and it seems to be working. Um, I did my hair in actually a pretty decent low bun. I was going to show you guys me doing it and trying to do it, but I was like, trying to do the camera instead. So we're going to turn around and see what the back looks like, and hopefully it looks okay. From the side. This could be a new summer hairstyle if it looks okay. Um, anyways, little OOTD. Hat is from Target. Um, this is from Target. My swimsuit is from Dippin' Daisies. I believe that any swimsuits, any swimsuits I brought for this weekend are from Dippin' Daisies. Probably Sierra as well. We used to have coats, but I think they discontinued that, so I don't think I can give you guys a discount. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see. It is windy out, but like it's pretty warm. So we'll see if Sierra wants to get in the water with Vegas. I don't know if I will. Um, but we really think if we could get him to like run and jump off the dock I feel like he'd really like that because he loves running and jumping off of our deck in our yard So we'll see but let's go outside. I guess you've never swam before. That's a boy Okay, Vegas has officially been in the water for the first time, and I will probably put in the phone clips that I got of that. Um, since this is the first time anyone's really been up to the lake house yet this year, um, everything, like all of our patio furniture and stuff is still inside, our grandma's one request was to spray off the deck and get it cleaned up, so I just did that, and now I'm going to try and bring some of the furniture out there. Okay, well, consensus, <clears throat> I think Vegas does like the water. He did, however, pull a Chance, which is the name of one of our mom's dogs. He's no longer allowed up at the lake because he doesn't really pay, play fetch or anything in the water. He just liked to run along the seawalls, which is what Vegas started doing. That's why we're inside right now because he, he got the zoomies good. and he was just zoom straight down all the seawalls i was turning into like an olympic hurdler trying to get over the dock so i was like do i go under do i go over anyway he ended up stopping and coming back but i'm a little hesitant now trying to go on the boat vegas come on come on come on, come on big jump
Survivor going on in the background, if you can hear that, but lunch is Zio salad and an unbaked pizza. I suffered a casualty on the boat and I lost my hat, so that's a bummer. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I just thought I'd love you, you guys, that my hat's no longer with us. So it lasted one Instagram picture, maybe two if I like any of the ones, the two that Sierra got of me in it, but probably not. I will either be repurchasing that hat or one like it probably because I've decided I do want a hat like that. I apologize for us being probably MIA for the past couple hours. Megan and I each showered. I've already like dried my hair. I just used my one step styler. And now I'm just kind of getting ready. It's 3.53. Um, Megan and I are planning on going out to dinner tonight. I don't know that we've decided where we're going to. And obviously it's only like four o'clock, so I'm not gonna be leaving for a while. Um, but we may try and go just like walk around like the downtown area without Vegas because obviously with him we couldn't go into any of the stores and stuff. So I don't know. We also don't know where we're wanting to go to dinner. So I don't know if it's gonna be somewhere close to the downtown area or what. I want to put on a cute outfit. TBD what that is, but I did just buy a denim vest a couple weeks ago. I wonder if I could make that work. So we both showered and I think we're gonna take Vegas on his afternoon walk right now. He's kinda whiny and I feel like hopefully <clears throat> if we take him on a walk help him poop and then he seems kinda tired anyways. Sierra and I are going to dinner. This is the first time we've left Vegas in like over a day, which is kinda nice. Um, we're gonna go try a place we've never been to before. It's called Surf Galley, and I, mean, I think it's not anything like super special or unique for food, but we were trying to find somewhere that we kind of haven't been. We'll let you know what we think. So we are at the restaurant, and we're kind of confused because we've definitely been here before, but I feel like it was a different name when we were here last time. So we'll see if it's the same service or menu or not, but last time we were not very impressed, but... We want to eat on a patio, and they have a patio here, so we're going to go try it anyways. Consensus is that it was good. It is indeed a new restaurant, new management, and so a different menu and everything, and it was nice. I had tacos, and Sierra got a burger, and we even got some extra potato chips because she asked for fries and not the chips, so I ate the chips. So Sierra is wanting to get some additional options for Instagram photos. We got some good content today. Sometimes it's hard to tell when like you're just looking at each other. That's just We're just two girls trying our best. Anyways, we kind of wanted ice cream. That place had a pizookie, but like we're both really full right now. And I don't know if the pizookie came with ice cream. Uh, but we kind of just want to walk around, digest our food a little bit. We'll decide which ice cream place we want to get ice cream at. And then... In the meantime, I'll try and help Sierra bring her vision to life. I also am like, I wish I had my pimple patches with me. I have two pimples on my cheek right now. What is going on? Usually when I break out, it is always right here. So I'm not used to this. Alright, we got Charlotte ice cream. Charlie's Fountain Shop. Soda Fountain. Soda Fountain. Whatever. We have ice cream now. We've been keeping Vegas' crate in the guest room here. Come here. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, starting today off by taking Vegas for a walk. I think it's like 6.30, 6.40 right now. I didn't really double check the time before we left. Um, I did start to clean Lake House. We're planning on leaving pretty early this morning. So 
last night I threw in all the towels that we had used, so I just need to get those put away because those are in the dryer. Um, I started sweeping up the floor. I really don't have that much to do, just like stripping the beds and doing distance and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's been a good, I think, first lake trip with Vegas. We'll have to kind of troubleshoot if we bring him up here again, you know, making sure he doesn't run away along the seawall, but he did pretty good. Plan for today is, I don't really think we're doing anything other than like cleaning up and trying to head out soon. Um, got sheets going, we need to make the beds. Looks like she already swept the floor, which was good because it needed it. And towels are done, I put them away. So, and then Sierra bought pineapple that has not been touched. And so it's also, like you have to kind of, if you're up here, you need to make sure that like the food up here is not gonna go bad or you need to like throw it away or take it with you. So, you need to eat that or, we also did finish the first four episodes of season three of Bridgerton. Um, I didn't think I was going to be super invested in this season just because like I haven't really cared that much about Colin or Penelope. Um, so I was kind of already thinking that going into this. And I would say I still am kind of like, granted I could have been paying attention more, but I'm kind of like, why are there so many different couples that we're focusing on this season? And like, why do I care about all of them? And like, I don't really care about Francesca and like her storyline. Um, so I would say if I were to rate like my favorite Bridgerton series, including Queen Charlotte to least favorite right now, it would be season two of Bridgerton, then season one, then Queen Charlotte, and then the current season three. We are officially on the road. It's just a little bit past eight o'clock, so it's not really bad. Not things cleaned up and put together pretty pretty quick and we must say I guess like, he's doing great so far he's up so. now but I kind of had to like there was a red light that I was like ee! in the south once we're on the interstate he'll he's already been pretty tired laying down mm -hmm. I feel like honestly because this is the first significantly long car he's been on everything else has been like less than 30 minutes and so I'm wondering since he like started to do really well like on the way up if maybe he's like okay I can just settle down and it's fine also we're realizing well, a couple things, because right now he's just cramped like that single seat back there because the seats have to be folded down for his crate to fit. So I don't know if we should get like, a smaller crate to bring with us on trips so that we don't have to fold the seats down and then we can get him like a hammock a canopy for there. back there and he can have like a lot more room to like stretch out. Anyways, <laughs> let us know if you guys travel with your dogs in the car, uh, what you found to be a good solution because this is like the first longer trip we've done with him. Alright, we just got home. It is like 10 o'clock right now. And so I think we're going to go straight into just doing our typical Sunday cleaning type of stuff. First, we should start with laundry just to get that going. Um, everything we've brought inside. Sierra just set Vegas' crate back up. I've got dishes sorted and stuff like that. I took the trash out because we walked in. It was like, it's going to smell a little bit. So... I'm gonna keep it going. We'll do laundry first and then probably come back downstairs. I need to clean the bathroom. We'll do all the things. Napping. Sierra is gonna go pick up some raisin canes for our lunch, and in the meantime, I started reading the Hotel Nantucket, which is the book club book we're doing it for this month. And so, Sierra's also reading it. Maggie's currently reading it. Um, I started it upstairs in my room, and I got to page like 27, and then I took a break and was just on my phone. So I think I'm gonna try and do a little bit more reading. Um, but yeah, I've honestly, so this year so far, I've been keeping track of, obviously the books I'm, I've been reading, I've been keeping track of on Goodreads, but also I've made like a little <clears throat> bookshelf note on the notes app in my phone. And I put a little photo of each of the covers I've read for each month. 
and so far every single month i've read at least six books granted one month two of those were novellas so does that count i don't know but this month i'm kind of like lagging behind a little bit just because i think i've been reading a little bit slower i feel like i've been reading consistently just like i haven't been like speed reading through books like i sometimes am and some of the books have been longer so i kind of like just in the back of my mind i'm like i kind of want to get six books in still but that would mean i need to read three other books so that's not looking very good given that today is may 19th um but we'll see i don't even know like the best books to do to be able to get that far but i'm reading the hotel on tuck it and i think it's like 400 something pages it would be great if i could read or finish reading this before next weekend that'd be a pretty good reasonable goal lunch was great i saw a tiktok when we were eating of someone who's making a connections but with books which is like the new york times game that like you're supposed to put things into like four groups of four and so sierra is trying to make a connections for me to try and solve she's in the process of pulling the books out and then we'll see We'll see if I can figure it out. Here is if anyone wants to play along, you guys could pause here. And I'm guessing you'll probably have me to read the books to. Actually, no. No, okay. So that makes it good because then it's probably less plot. And I was like, oh god, I hardly remember the plot of books when I finished reading them. So let's see. My first thought is to look at like the words in the titles and see if there's any similarities. So I'm seeing books with summer in the title and I kind of feel like maybe if the date is in the title but maybe just number in the title I wonder if one of these is like a movie or TV adaptation because that would be this one this one's getting one Megan finished she did do it technically all by herself. I just gave her, like, when she got a category right, I told her. Okay, easiest one that I pretty much picked up on right away was these ones have summer in the title. And then it kind of took me a while to get the next one figured out. Eventually, I got this one, and it was the blank blank was, like, how all the time titles are formatted. And then this one was just numbers are in the title. And then this one is there's paper on the covers. Okay, here's a look at the ones that I set out for Sierra. So, you can come take a look at any time. Some of them are simple, so like, they're not all like super intense crazy. First thing I see, there's like multiple characters who are like, are like kind of back to back, maybe. Here's the answer for mine. So, all of them have love in the title. This one, those book club picks. Yeah, it's like, what do you want this one? So they have book club stickers on it. This one, this they one all just like have a, the covers look the same. Cover format of just solid color with a couple on either side of the title. And, and these the ones one all like, are in some way related to like the movies or movie industry. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> that one, I thought mine was harder than Meg, Megan's, but the ones that you made for me. Yeah. Were harder. All right, so we're gonna end the Weekend in Life video here. I was just finishing editing things together and I'd like to start uploading the video so that <laughs> way it can go up for you guys tomorrow. Um, we're still trying to figure out how exactly to best use this lens and whatnot. So if you have any critiques, like I already noticed some things and I was like, this didn't turn out great. Like the clips on the boat seemed like way too overexposed. And so we need to maybe mess That's around with that sad. stuff a little bit more. Um, but yeah, work in progress. And then also, when we were getting the lens for this camera, we were like, oh, we should also get like a mic to add to our vlog camera to like really make our audio a little bit better. Um, and I just noticed like when we were outside, it was like really windy. So that didn't help, but we cannot add an external mic to this camera. So that's not an option. Anyways, <laughs> um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We will be posting another vlog this upcoming weekend and unedited day in our life so you can get ready for that we also have a podcast called according to um <clears throat> where sierra and i basically just chat about whatever we feel like chatting about and that goes live every thursday morning 
and you guys could watch the video version on YouTube or you can go listen wherever you listen to your podcasts. Otherwise, we will see you guys or talk to you guys whenever we post next. Bye! Bye.